Hey YouTube, I got another knife I want to show you today. This is the Spyderco PPT. Um, I'm going to start off by saying this is probably one of my favorite Spydercos I've handled to date. Um, one thing I really like is this pocket clip that it comes with. Um, it's you know specific to this knife it's not a pocket clip that Spyderco uses on a, any of their other knives um, I like how it's deep carry I like how it's like a blasted titanium look but I believe it's steel um, it comes with this cool little lanyard which I actually use this one because since it's such a deep carry that sits out of my pocket like that and then I just pull it out I love these G10 scales. They got the contour in them. It's got a big steel backspacer. A modified Warncliffe blade. It's full flat ground with some swedges cut out. Gives it a really nice look. Got that little uh, 3D. Spyderco logo. This one uses S30V steel. It's made in a Taichung, Taiwan. It's really thick liner lock. Pretty early lockup, but it locks up solid. No blade play. Came to me perfectly centered. Opens real easily. Has some jimping here on the back of the blade and then some a little bit lower. This jimping a little bit lower is almost useless because uh, the G10 and the liners stick up higher. You can see right there than the jimping. But the way I hold it most of the time, my thumb's actually up here. And then it's also got this spot right here so you could choke up. <laughs> so you got a few different ways of holding it. Um. They call it a cross between a liner lock and a frame lock. It's more of a liner lock because the all the bolts, like for the spacer and for the pivot and everything, go through the the G10. Um, it's kind of like just a liner lock that they cut out a spot, but it's a thick liner lock and it disengages real easy, um, which I like. It doesn't have any stick to it or anything. All the steel on here, the spacers and everything, are all blasted. So it uh, kind of gives you the feel of a lot of titanium knives. Um, but it is steel. So it is a little bit heavy. It doesn't bother me at all. But I know a lot of people, that's one thing they say about this knife. But it doesn't feel too bad to me at all, really. Um, feels really good in the hand. I like how smooth it is. It actually feels feels like a custom, um, and it's pretty cheap for what you're getting. Especially if you uh, look around, you could find this for barely over a hundred dollars if you uh, really look around. All the specs will be in the description from Spyderco's website. Um, here it is next to the Sage 2. Give you a size comparison. So cutting edge is real similar to the Sage 2. Um, here it is next to the military much smaller than the military um, you get you know similar performance I think um, obviously it's a different blade shape but you get about the same size blade and similar for performance to the Sage 2 but it's, it's a little bit cheaper I mean it's a different feel some people don't like the feel of titanium um, I, I do I love it but some people prefer the G10 and you get really good ergonomics with this knife and it looks bad. 
Um, I know, you know, looks are are different for everybody, but I love the look of this knife. Um, it is a little bit harder for left-handed people. The pocket clip's not reversible, and since the um, liner sticks out, you mean you can't get your thumb in there as easy. But as you can see, I'm uh, right-handed, and I could still do it, so not that big of a deal. But uh, it's a pretty sweet knife. I haven't been this happy about a knife for this price in a while. Um, I'm really happy with this knife, and for me, unless I really needed to sell it for something this one's definitely a keeper all right guys i know there's tons of reviews out there on this knife but i just wanted to show it off thanks for watching